Turns out this unique two-wheeler is built in China by Sir Ron. What caught our attention that day was the Sir Ron Light B X E bike. The world of electric anything is booming right now, seems like everyone has an electric car these days, but electric mountain bikes, kids' motorcycles and more continue to make waves in the industry we love as well. Regardless of how you feel about charge and go two-wheeled vehicles, innovation is something we here at Cycle News enjoy, the Suron brand aligns with that ideology and their Light BX is another option in the growing world of electric two-wheeled vehicles. The Suron Light BX is sold as an off-road-only bike, according to most of the dealers selling them, these bikes are shipped governed at a top speed of only 16 miles an hour to keep them road legal in some states. Without question you should check your local laws before blasting down your neighborhood streets on your new Light BX. The Light BX is not powered by your legs, it has no pedals, instead you twist a throttle, the Light BX is powered by a removable 60-volt Panasonic lithium-ion battery pack with two modes Eco and Sport. Sir Ron claims battery life will last 20 to 60 miles per charge but, of course that all depends on what mode you ride it in and how aggressively you twist the throttle. The Light B uses an aluminum frame, 19-inch wheels and an inverted front fork with 8 inches of travel, the suspension is like a downhill mountain bike and many upgraded Light Bs pull high-quality components from the DH world. Seat height is right around 33 inches and offers 10.5 inches of ground clearance, overall the bike is a bit bigger than a 110 cubic centimeters pit bike and more like a trail-specific motorcycle, such as a Yamaha TT or 125 or Kawasaki KLX 140. It's hard not to have fun on anything with two wheels, and the Light BX is no exception, we used it in two different riding locations and found both equally enjoyable. The first was on some local dual sport trails, we chose this environment to stay off the mountain bike trails where even pedal assist mountain bikes can be frowned upon, the potent little Surron motor is a blast. It whisked my 180 pound build around with no hesitation, sport mode is a must for anyone with previous motorcycle experience, but the eco mode worked well for preserving battery life and would also work well for teaching new riders. Power delivery and throttle response are much different on electric than a traditional cable actuated gas engine, but you get the hang of it quickly, and it's not overly fast or intimidating to learn. The light bee zipped up and down the trails with ease, and its quiet nature heightened senses that would otherwise be drowned out by engine noise. Components in the suspension and braking department are close to that in the mountain bike world, that just so happens to be our second favorite pastime, right behind motorcycles so it came with familiar territory. For piston hydraulic disc brakes come standard front and rear on the Suron and offer strong stopping capabilities, since the light B only weighs about 110 pounds, the snappy brakes make it easy to skid or slide the rear wheel, blending that line again between motorcycle and bicycle, the light B comes standard with two handbrakes and no rear brake pedal. The suspension was on the soft side which was fine for our beginner riders, but became more noticeable when we began pushing it, the fork and shock both have compression and rebound adjustments which helped stiffen up the ride, this made it more enjoyable and capable for the experienced riders who wanted to jump or charge the trails harder. We found the ergos to be comfortable and neutral, the Sting Raystyle seat is wide enough for adults and provides enough cushion for cruising around or railing ruts, the foot pegs are on the smaller side again think pit bike-esque, but we've already found plenty of wider aftermarket options. You don't need a large area to have a great time on the Light BX, it makes lunchtime at the office way more fun, with no sound from the electric motor we turned a nearby dirt lot into an urban playground. No one knew or cared that we were there which is a big plus with a bike like this. It's such a versatile bike that covers a lot of ground in different environments, we found its most significant advantages in three areas teaching new riders, riding in new places that you normally wouldn't even consider, and its overall low maintenance. The Saran is easy to operate, which is a huge plus for new riders or for those looking to build confidence on two wheels, two modes, no gears and no clutch are virtually foolproof. Again riding in new places is another advantage, scooting around town on a pit bike is a sure fire way to run into officer friendly, but doing it on an untampered light BX should not be a concern. 
In smaller confined areas, such as at a backyard pit bike track, the Saran would totally shine, since no noise is a huge tick in the checkbox for your favorite anti-moto neighbors. Finally no gas and no oil make the Saran super easy to live with, just plug and play. The chain, tires and grips will wear over time, but those are much easier and cheaper to deal with than mixing gas or rebuilding the top end. As with nearly anything constructed in China, quality of craftsmanship is always suspect, but the Light BX seems to be built well enough, we had no issues with it though we only had the bike for a short time. The Saran isn't a true dirt bike and it's not really a mountain bike either, categorizing the Light BX is its only real struggle.